So to start this webinar off, I will actually be choosing a new map of the United States, which is the third option here. And I'll just be creating an entire map of the United States. And we will be using Maps to 2021 as well for this uh, for this uh, webinar. There will be uh, a webinar later on that goes over changes from Maps to 2020 to 2021. Um, for the most part, the look and feel of the software is going to be the same, uh, but there have been some updates, some additional features, uh, updated data as there is every year. So to get started here, I'm going to be zooming in to Boston. And I'm going to open up the buffers toolbar. So it can be found under tools and then analysis. And then you'll see buffers toolbar. And you should see a toolbar open up like this one. So we have a few options that are lighting up on this. We have an option to add temporary points, add temporary lines, and add temporary areas. So these are ways of adding locations and um, areas and lines that will be the centers for our buffers. So when we're creating rings, they'll be created around these areas or these types of objects. So to start with, let's use add temporary points and let's just click on Boston. Next, I will choose create buffers. Uh, you can choose whether or not you want to save your points to a layer. I will be choosing no. And we can set a size for the buffers in a number of different ways. And I'll be going over the options here a little bit more later. So let's start by doing a five mile buffer. And if I want to get demographics, I can check the box for calculate demographics. For now, we're going to skip this just so you can see what a simple buffer looks like. And when I hit OK, it's going to create a buffer around that one point. You can see we also have a new layer in the Display Manager called Point Buffers. Similar to how any other layer works, you can toggle it on and off by clicking on the green check mark or red X. And you can remove it by right clicking on it and choosing Remove. So let's try now uh, adjusting some of those settings. So we'll click on Boston again, and we'll click Create Buffers. These are the additional options that have lit up here are basically to undo or cancel your placement of the, the center points. Uh, and then there are options here for changing the style of the buffers and options to save your point locations to a layer. So you'll automatically be prompted as I was here to save the point locations to a layer. But if you do want to save it before that, you can just click that button. And let's go over a few of these additional options. So first of all, if I want to do multiple sizes and just fixed size buffers, I can do something like one comma three comma five. So this will give me a one mile, a three mile, and a five mile buffer. If I want to use something other than miles, I can use the units drop down to change miles to any other unit of measure that I want. Another way of doing these three size buffers, so this will give me one, three, and five, and I'll show what that looks like. There's one mile, three mile, and five mile. Now, another way of doing that would be to use the variable size option. So you see where it says variable size here? We're going to click on this. Or sorry, uh, evenly spaced, my fault. Uh, so we could do one to five by two. So this is going to take us from a one mile buffer to a five mile buffer by increments of two. So this will give me a one, a three, and a five again. So we see that's the same result. So what about an option like variable size? Variable size is for uh, if you're importing your point locations from a spreadsheet and you have a field in your spreadsheet or table that defines how large the buffers around each point should be. So you would choose that variable here and choose your units and then hit OK. If you want to use build to value, you can have the buffers be created to a variable size depending on uh, a certain variable of this area. So uh, for example, if I wanted to have a buffer that encompasses 1 million population, I could type one 
zero, 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 zero. Make sure I'm choosing layer, US census, and field population. If you wanted to use a different um, a different field here, you could. So if you wanted to build to maybe a 65 plus population or any racial population, anything like that, you can. Number of households would work as well. For now, I'll just do population and let's do 1 million. And that will give us a buffer that fits 1 million people. So those are the options for building the buffers to a particular size. What about the options for calculating the demographics? Let's try some of those. So we're gonna go back to fixed sizes with uh, one, three, and five here. And I'll check the box for calculate demographics and cumulative buffers. I will also check create a report so everyone can see the report. Uh, calculate demographics just gets us the demographic report on the area. Cumulative buffers, makes it so that when we do multiple buffers here, like one, three, and five, we get a buffer of zero to one, zero to three, and zero to five. Uh, if you uncheck it, it would be zero to one, one to three, and three to five. So assuming you want you know, the entire five mile radius, not just the three to five, in your five mile buffer, you wanna check the box for calculate or cumulative demographics, or sorry, cumulative buffers. So this should be good for now, again, okay. Okay, so there's my one, three, and five mile buffer, and we have all the demographics of this area. So there's a number of default demographics that we include. Uh, we do include additional demographics, and you can add those, and I will show you how to add those as well. The same content is output into this table here. So if you do wanna export the table, you can do file, export table, send it to an Excel sheet. I believe I have covered everything here. So now let's try creating buffers around a particular line or a particular area. Uh, these are often used when you want to create buffers along a street or along a river, anything like that will work well for this. So let's say, for example, I wanted to find uh, demographics for anyone within a mile of this section of I-90. I could choose add temporary lines instead of add temporary points. Click once to start drawing my line. Click whenever I want to add a corner. That should be good right there. And then double click when you're ready to finish drawing. So we can see I have now a thin gray line running along I-90. All that's left is to choose create buffers. And once again, I have the same settings to create the sizes for the buffers. So I want demographics. I'm gonna leave out the report this time. Everyone's seen the report. If you wanna see it again, let me know. Uh, but it just takes longer to process each time, so. We will leave that on one, three, and five, and we will do cumulative buffers. There we go, so there's our table report. And we can see that our buffers now follow that section of the road that I drew a line on. So finally, let's try drawing temporary areas. So this can be useful if you wanna outline a particular uh, area of a city, or if you have a state line or county line that you wanna outline, you can choose add temporary areas. Similar to with our lines, we're gonna click once to start drawing, and then click every time we wanna add a corner. And this time I will do mine around Uh, I suppose we'll just do it around back by. So I'll click once to start drawing, 
click each time I want to add a corner. And then when you're ready to close your shape, double click. So we now see the shape highlighted in green here. Click on create buffers. Don't want to save areas to a layer. And we have all the same options again. Let's just do a one mile buffer. And we have our one mile buffer. If I check the boxes for calculate demographics or for you know cumulative demographics or create report, I would have gotten demographics as well for this area. I had not checked any of those boxes, so all I have is the area. The final thing I'm going to go over is creating a lot of buffers around a number of imported points. So, for example, I have a spreadsheet of, I believe, brewery locations. Yep, so these are brewery locations in Texas. so everyone can see them. We have a address, city, state, zip code for each one. Uh, we also have longitude and latitude, although I won't be using those. Um, we have a name for the location and then number of extra fields for things like hours, the phone number, URL, stuff like that. I'm gonna open this sheet up. On the first step, we're gonna match up any geographic fields from the spreadsheet with their respective matching geographies. Uh, I have an address field. I want to make sure that matches to address. My city field, I want to make sure it matches the city, et cetera. I'm going to be locating the records by address, zip code, or city. I'm going to import the data. And I don't need to type a type of theme, but I will go ahead and display labels with the name of each location. So there's all my Texas points. Uh, so a popular use of the buffers tool is getting demographics around an entire layer of your locations, not just one at a time as I was doing earlier. So this is sort of a bulk demographic report. This is actually really easy to do. So we're not gonna use the buffers toolbar for this. Instead, we're going to use the buffers tool. So under tools, analysis, what we had open before was the buffers toolbar. We're just gonna click on buffers this time. Buffers is going to just create buffers around our working layer, which is currently my sheet one layer here. It contains all my breweries. I'm gonna create buffers around all of my features. So it's gonna do a buffer around each of the 183 points. Uh, I will just do one mile buffers just to keep this quick. We can still do things like one, three, and five. We can still build it to a value. We have all the same access to these options we had before, but just for the sake of time, I'm gonna leave this on one. Uh, I will be doing separate buffers this time. So since I have, uh, I'm wanna do, since I'm looking to do buffers around each individual location, I wanna get a separate part of the buffers report for each of the points. So I'm gonna check the box for separate buffers and we're gonna get the buffer names from the name of each location. Finally, I will calculate demographics. I'll leave out create a report because it would be a really long report uh, and I will hit okay. Okay, so these are my, the results of my buffers report. So we have at each of my brewery locations, we have all the default uh, demographics that we use for the demographic report. So these are things like estimated median household income, uh, populations to different income brackets, populations to different races, overall population, buying power of each individual area, uh, as well as counts of common landmarks like hospitals, hotels, restaurants, schools, museums, shopping centers, that sort of thing. 
And again, if you wanted to export this table, you could do so by choosing File, Export, and then Table. This particular data view is actually part of the buffers layer. So if I wanted to, if I had closed that and I wanted to reopen it, you can just right click on the buffers layer and choose new data view again to see the report. So this data is all embedded into the buffers layer. And we should see that when I zoom in here, there's a bunch of small green circles surrounding each of these points. And there are. So there's our one mile buffers around each of these locations. <clears throat> 